Well, all right then. Okay, so uh, I had to... No, we're good, right? Okay, we're good. All right, so I uh, did a... I had to abruptly end the previous recording session, which is probably a good thing because I was headed to the Citadel Tower at this point, I believe. Yeah, because we were not able to go down to the lower level and check out Flux. So, yeah, and now it's been two days since I last played, so I may be a little bit uh, hazy on some of the details, but I'm okay. We can still roll. Are we going north, north, north? Where are we going? Which way is the actual tower? That is toward the thing. So I should just turn left. Where's the tower? Oh, there it is. Of course. This is where we were going to meet uh, Udina, I believe, and the council members to discuss this whole thing with the artifact and most importantly with Saren. Yeah, there we go. All right, you two ready for this? We are like a variety so pack. going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Got some jamming elevator music up here. This is going to be very... I don't even know. I'm not sure what to expect other than the absolute majesty of this place. My God, look at this place. This place is awesome. I would totally spark up a joint here. So we got a couple Turians bragging about their reach and flexibility. Or is that the other ones? Executor Palin and Garrus! We all remember Garrus. I remember very little about Garrus other than I like him. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Wait. One of these. Whatever. No, I know that Sarah's I'm supposed hiding to. hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Do you work for CSEC, Garrus? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. I figured you were talking to Palin, and he just told you that you can't do the investigation anymore, so it seemed logical to me that you were working for CSEC. Sorry, I had to change something with Discord in the background. Uh, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you don't like him. Well, it sounds like you're suspicious of him. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You going rogue, Garrus? You gonna... Gonna continue your investigation on your own, Batman style, huh? You don't want to keep the council waiting. I kind of do, though. See, it's really important to me that they respect me. So they have to work on my schedule. Not I on theirs. I am Commander fucking Shepard. We're gonna take it slow walking through here, cause damn. Whoever put this place together knew what they were doing. Who were the original three races? It was, it was the Garruses. It was the hot chicks, I think and the Solarians. I don't think we've seen a Solarian yet. Wait, maybe we have. They're the ones that look like toys. <laughs> That's a Solarian. He looks like a toy. <laughs> he, remind, he reminds me of an old Star Wars toy that I used to have when I was a kid. So to me, the Solarians look like Star Wars toys. <laughs> and Asari looked like a whole lot of fun. This ominous music though. Imagine you get called into jury duty or something, and this is the music that's playing in the background. Like, what the frick is happening? Hey there, red man. Purple man in the back over there. Wow! Where can I get a suit like yours? And how much product is in that hair? As we say here in South Texas, este vato. <laughs> I know Awesome Maggie probably laughed out loud at that one. And at that. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The won't be joining the council for years. Of course not. They no, suck. Sure. 
The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Bolas will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Oh. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Bolas? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Will the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first? You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. I'm guessing the Hanar are the jellyfish-like creatures, and the Elkar are the ones that say things like Genuine suspicion. I believe the Elkar are the ones that say things like genuine suspicion. I believe the... Yeah, you get me. Star Wars toy. Whoa, your hair is so bright red. Lovely view. This place gets destroyed or something later. It has to. It's so it's too beautiful. No spoilers in the comments. I will drop kick you. Although I'm probably not gonna release any videos on this until the playthrough is done, as that is my no, style. I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. I'm not the counselor's assistant, but Commander. Eh, okay. Later. Okay, if I'm, if I'm correct, the word talk under Rear Admiral Kahoku will turn gray when he's out of options, right? Commander? Nope. Okay, dialogue options, that is. Got a keeper working on a panel. People discussing important business. Ashley getting in the way instead of being in the kitchen. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Who are you talking to? Captain Anderson, how you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was trying to, really badly <laughs> to hold off that sneeze. In fact, that is the whole reason I ran by Captain Anderson to come check out what's over here, because I was trying to buy myself time for that sneeze. <laughs> okay, whatever. Now that that's done. The hearing's already started. Come on. Oh, crap. All right. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You can fight like a Krogan and run like a leopard. <clears throat> uh, the one that let the beacon get destroyed. What the hell were you even doing there? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Damn. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Nah, you're stalling. You're trying to change the subject. You're redirecting. You are showing all the signs of somebody who is extremely defensive, and somebody only gets extremely defensive when they have a reason to be, right? You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? That's fair. I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? No, not really. He's... I mean... Garrus has got nothing on him. He has no hard physical evidence. All I have is my vision. That's all we have is our vision. And of course, the testimony of one traumatized dock worker. 
which should be enough if corroborated by Commander Shepard, Ambassador Udina, and Captain Anderson, right? I mean, you should really be putting a lot more weight on that dock worker's testimony there. But since Saren is a specter, uh, and you guys seem to be pretty buddy-buddy with him, I think that's the end of it for you, huh? So, I mean, what really can I say? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. I, uh, wow. So, you, you and Saren go a ways back, huh? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. Mm. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. <clears throat> I think I need to be instated into the Spectres. So that I have the same kind of freedom. Then I can uncover him. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. <laughs> Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. No, I'm on this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. What else we got? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. Ah. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Sorry to go over your head with this, Captain. I know they don't want you involved, and I kind of just volunteered to do something that you advised against. But, objectively speaking, who do you think we have the better chance with? Harkin or the Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well then, you two. My gut instinct says to go check out Harkin. I don't like the way Captain Anderson just wrote off Harkin as an option immediately just because the guy is a drunk. I am inclined to trust his judgment. And the information about the Shadow Broker seemed to be something. You know what? Let's trust Captain Anderson's judgment on this one. I'm kind of going against my own gut instinct here. But let's go talk to whoever it is I need to talk to uh, in the financial district.
An agent for the Shadow Broker named Barla Vaughn might be able to provide you with more information about Saren. All right. We'll check that out at the very least. And if not, if that doesn't provide us anything... Hang on, I was hoping this door was an actual door. If that doesn't provide us with anything... Then we'll go try out my gut instinct, which is to talk to Harkin. <laughs> Great contribution there. Contribution there, Caden. What are those cherry trees? Yeah. He's up to something. What? What guy? The one over by the keeper. Chorban. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Looks like you're trying to hack the keepers. I see your wrist hacking device. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. No, you definitely shouldn't, but I caught you. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Yeah, true. I'm going. I don't... So long. I don't have any... Maybe we can fast travel over to the financial district. Huh, there we go. Zoom! Let's get in one of these cool little air cars. I have arrived at the Presidium Financial District. That's hot. Uh, oh, it's the banker. Oh God, we have to talk to a Volus. All right, hold your breath, everybody. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base memory, sir. <laughs> Is that what I did? <laughs> I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Hmm. Sounds like you're watching your back pretty well. Are you the Shadow Broker? Anyway, I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Oh, really? I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. Really? What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. You know, I thought when when the captain mentioned that the Shadow Broker was not a threat to anyone and what the Shadow Broker does and how he's got information, he's neutral, etc., etc., I thought to myself, if I was Saren and I was keeping a secret... I would definitely target the Shadow Broker at this point. Um, I would not leave that option open for finding out what I'm doing or anything about me. So I'm a little concerned for the Shadow Broker right now. Uh, until Saren turned on him. Yeah, well, you know, that's what he does. Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Okay. And who is this Krogan mercenary? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Right on. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. All right. 
You've kind of given the bolus a little bit of a better name. I probably shouldn't judge them all based off of the actions of one bolus, you know? Actions, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know why I hate, I don't even know why I hate Din Korlak and therefore all bolus. I don't know why. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Hmm. So I have got to get, okay, we can't zoom with this. I have to get to CSEC HQ, which means I need to go to CSEC Academy. Boards access, embassies back, consort chambers, citadel tower. That's where I already was. Embassies. The embassies are right there. The human embassy included. Um, and so we go in here and then we take a left. Hello, Avina GPT, embassy receptionist. Hey, you seen a Krogan come by here? Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. You can fight like a Krogan, run like a leopard, but you'll never be better than me! Shepard. Um, was it to the right? Nah, I wasn't to the right. It was through here. Hey, hey, Alan, where's your Krogan buddy? Shepard, what can I do for you now? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Same thing. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Yeah, but speaking of investigations... Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarium? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. You'd think an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Was there anything else? So, chaotic. Good. Got it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Uh, I thought this is where he said to go. Wait, Rex? At the CSEC Academy, not CSEC HQ. Okay. Um, I hate that I can't drag correctly. Um, where is the Academy? It's not downstairs, is it? How do I check the wards? Can I? I think that's the one I want. Emporium. Let's see. Destination, store, squad member, plot. An exclamation point where the plot is. Minerals. <laughs> point of interest. Anomaly. Debris. Surveyed. Transition. Oh, there's plenty of stuff here. Um... Well, if it's not up here in the Presidium, it must be in the wards, which I should have access to now. So let's just go do that. Head on out. Let's just head out. Garrus Vicarian. What a guy. Boom. Zoop. To the wards we go. In here it doesn't snow. To wards. I love these signs. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> that was cool. To the embassies. No, thank you. Wards, wards, wards. Wards, wards, wards. To Citadel Tower and wards. Man. This place is very, very well designed. The embassies in CSEC, the wards are even further off, right? Wait, what? This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. Hey, what's going on here? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Why are you attack why are you harassing him? He seemed cool. Are there laws being broken here? 
I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Oh. So... It's preaching in a public area where it's not allowed to unless it has a permit? So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. All right, let me see if he's actually preaching here or not. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Listen, are you breaking the law? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? No, no, no. What exactly are you doing? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Okay. <laughs> why don't you just buy a permit? If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Yeah, but the Citadel is here and providing tons of services and security to people like you and me. And we're freely allowed to do whatever we want here as long as we play within their rules, so... The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Then you can do that elsewhere. Wait, why can't I select these? Uh, could I buy your permit? I don't care to buy his permit. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Sounds like you're going to have to arrest this thing. Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. All I can do is buy its permit? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Listen, man. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. Sweet. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Um... <clears throat> I'll be back. I'll be back once I learn how to intimidate you. Dang. <laughs> this one will continue to spread its message. Arrest him! Any progress with that Hanar? Let the Hanar talk, leave the Hanar alone. I'll keep trying. Not yet. Sorry, I'll let you know I if don't I care what the something is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's gonna have to do its thing. Here's the entrance to the wards. And yes, by the way, I know I'm probably like missing out on a lot of side quests by sticking so single-mindedly to my particular objective, but it's what I would really do if I was here. I wouldn't be scanning keepers for that dude we saw in the Citadel Tower. I wouldn't be buying religious permits for strangers who are having trouble with security, you know, so. I realize it's not very game of me and I'm missing out on, you know, designed, planned, and programmed content, but I'm having my own story here. Relax. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Yeah, I don't blame them, honestly. We didn't fuck up. Ashley did.
whoa, it's our first time down here and it's awesome. I really wish I had a first person view to check out really cool shit like this. <gasps> the reflections and everything. I'm trying to put my back against the wall, but it's not gonna let me. Oh well. Dang, that looks cool. So I'm not high right now while recording this, but until you're a stoner, you can't really appreciate visuals like this the same way, you know? <laughs> but after you become a stoner, even while you're sober, you can see stuff like this and be like, whoa, that's awesome. Yo, ass. Like lots of it. Like it's all over the place. I love the wards. Oh, damn. She's leaving. Whoa, your dress. Dude, Ashley, where do you shop? Dude, where do you shop? We need to talk to Ashley about that. Oh yeah, now that we're down here. Not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular views. 